Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I am from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be finishing off Invertec OptiDrive E2 drive where we're going to be looking at running the drive is, uh, today in the remote control using a uh, MOP speed control two buttons and uh, also going to be setting up drive in remote mode for multi-frequency setup if you haven't seen the last two videos where we are set up the drive uh, in running local mode and do the full uh, commissioning there and also the video with the uh, where we run the drive uh, for two three wire control and use potential but uh, both of those videos and uh, the links are going to be in description below all the manuals related parts and anything else that i th uh, feel that would uh, help you out also going to be in the description below and before we get started as usual guys if you haven't checked out our website and you're looking for any automations part be sure to check our website out or our ebay page the ebay page is where we mostly list most of our goods because of the exposure and things like that so be sure to check it out and also as usual if you are selling and looking to burn some uh, short plus stock definitely get in touch with whichever means you feel it is more suitable for you. Or now, let's get started. Alrighty, so that is all wired up and let me show you the station we're going to be using. The step, the setup we're going to be using is this, as you can see, run, forward, reverse, speed up and a speed down that's how the whole station is going to be looking at with emergency button again just to remove the power from the buttons and i'll show you in a minute how to the wiring works so the only thing we, we're going to be we're going to set now we'll be in the uh, in the uh, whole of a wiring system we're going to be using a wiring example like so where you can see the keypad mode uh, 12 is equal to one or two doesn't matter and a p15 is equal to zero okay so uh let's start change so we need to change 12 to 1 hold the button go to 12 uh, change that to 1 and then we need to go 15 and change that to 0 so here we go that's uh, that done let's leave the menu and let's have a look at the wiring how the wiring is done so there we go, that's our uh, station in here. Oh, that zoomed in, all right. Again, our source wire one comes to the east up, goes through the east up and powers up all the normally open contacts. Number three, which is our run button, uh, run signal, which goes to terminal two. Uh, the number four cable, which is our uh, forward reverse, uh, that will go to terminal six. And uh, the uh, speed up will be, which is a cable five, will be going for uh, terminal three, and speed down will be going for terminal four. That's pretty much it. It's quite straightforward, ready to go station. So uh, before we check it out, let me just quickly put uh, the cover on, and we'll see how that runs. Okay, now that the station is done, that's what it looks like. I kept one screw out, just about not needing to screw in. That's what it looks like when it's all in. Uh, before we get started, there's two, one, param one more parameter I need to talk to you about is uh, parameter 31. If, oh, uh, actually I'm going to demonstrate that, that, that demonstrate first, whatever, whatever you, what the parameter does. You have to be between uh, one, between two and a three when you run this kind of mode. And uh, two, let me show that now in a minute. When you are in the mode two, let's say you selected the run button. As you can see, the frequency is a zero, and then you have, are able to increase your speed by just pushing the buttons. And then obviously the same thing happens when you uh, do a uh, calm down. But as you can see in here, if I remove the run button and uh, put the run button back on, the frequency goes back uh, to, z uh, to zero. That is because the uh, parameter 31 is on two that's what happens when it is on two it will start from the frequency of uh lowest frequency what was set up in the drive and our lowest frequency in the drive setup is a zero so it will always be doing that so is it going standby so let's do that and uh here we go and forward reverse obviously self-explanatory you can, you can uh, work each whichever way you want to up and down and obviously as soon as you remove that button it will still stay in, in reverse but it will return to zero 
So uh, let's uh, and then and let's have a look at it, what it happens when it's in uh, on a three. So when it's in on a three, let's put in a run mode and uh, increase the speed. And now that we remove the run mode, it will go back to that. It will save that last frequency we were you. So uh, that's what that does. So uh, and obviously we we've got the east up and down there as well. But that's how. Uh, the MLP control or two button speed control uh, works with the reversing uh, function. So, uh, having done that, let's crack on with multi frequency setup. Alrighty, the station is, has been wired in, and this is what the station looks like. Like that, we'll have a, uh, put a, a drive into run mode, and there's a speed one, speed two, speed three. And this drive, oh, this drive does, definitely does not stop amazing me how it's being built. It's very, very different than anyone else. Doesn't mean it's bad, it's just, it just gives a little bit of an extra, extra thought to it. So the, the graph that we were going to be using is just going to be a, where was it, where was it? I think I lost it already. It's this one in it. The... What we're going to be doing is this guy in here. Here we go. Which is uh, where in terminal mode P12 is, is equals zero and P15 equals two. Basically, the the setup two I would call it. And as you can see down there, it says you can have a four four P sets and uh, presets, and then you can have a, a five speeds as well. And if you go up here, it sort of tells you what sort of which what each preset is. Uh, going to do like open open which means preset one closed open previous be speed two open close over speed three and close close it will be a speed four and then you can get the fifth speed by closing a terminal uh, six down here which will allow you to have your max speed which is set in a p01 and all other ones are set in p02 uh, p20 21 22 and 23 the way it works, which is uh, wiring wise, let's have a look at the wiring. Wiring is quite uh, quite straightforward. This is the wiring in the, in the system. We got one coming in here, which is our source, going through the source, and then it's powering up all the buttons. And the first one we got a run button that goes to uh, goes back to a uh, terminal two. Then it's a speed one goes back to terminal three. Then a speed uh, uh, two is going to go uh, uh, back to terminal. 3 and uh, speed 3 will go back to terminal 6. Effectively how it works, uh, let me put a, a station back on it and I'll be right back. Righty, so the station now, that's what it's looking like now. So effectively if I talk you through how that works, so uh, within this, with this drive, which is quite odd as well, when you press a run uh, signal or uh, enable, it goes in is a uh, preset speed 20 which you can use as well as another speed if you wish. So effectively, you, there's a way of getting a five speeds, but uh, for me, if I put in the run mode, the drive will straight away run. And then, and then, then you can uh, sort of, it's, it's just confusing. So I took the, uh, the first preset 20, uh, let's go back to preset 20, I'll show you that. I've set my preset 20 on zero, so when I enable my drive, it is staying in enable zone when and is not running any speeds, and that and that leaves me to play around with these buttons in here. Otherwise, other than that, you can use the run, and uh, it will uh, select that speed, and then you can preset these uh, differently. And uh, as you as you click across, uh, it will override the run speed uh, itself. So. Uh, I don't like it like that. I like it when I have my full control for uh, when I enable the drive and then I select my speeds whenever I need. And the way it works, so uh, let's just take these speeds off. So effectively, as you can see, we have put the drive in the road mode. It says it's a zero frequency. And if I put speed one, it is uh, my uh, 15. And if I take the speed one off and I want to go to speed two, that's my uh, uh, yeah, 25. And if I want to go get another, let's just first go through it. If I can disconnect that one and I can go and I go straight to 50. All these three can pre preset according to manual. Just follow the rules as, as uh, that between 20 and 23. So if I do that, you can have another speed when you go speed one. 
and speed two together will give you the force speed if you wish which in our case is a 35 and i think you can uh, do in that then we'll jump straight to the max speed this one this this button and this button doesn't really uh, determine what's going on with these two buttons so it's very confusing but it is what it is so uh that's how uh, the uh, the button at uh, the the pre preset speeds will work and i'll quickly run you through as well again through your, your paperwork and hopefully to get you through uh, get you to understand a bit better if you haven't got, uh, got already so enable will give us initial speed which you can set in a, in, a, in a preset uh, p20 and uh that will be the, the this, as you can see down there open and up if digital input 2 and digital input 3 is open it will run the preset speed one which i have put on zero because it's working on my run uh, signal and i don't want that to be any speed but you can do that if you wish to so you can get all four speeds plus your max speed which is there as well can be adjusted with p01 so hopefully i have got this message across i'm hoping because it is a bit confusing when you start looking around it but once you get to it it's actually quite straightforward it was uh, quite interesting uh, run with this drive. It was definitely different than any other, than any other drives. A lot of things to, uh, that uh, I would have liked the drive to have didn't have. And one of the key ones that I love about drives when I can uh, program the inputs to myself rather than having these presets. Uh, because often is is I like different types of applications. So uh, these can do on the presets and doesn't and, 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 and so it does give you the most common way of. Uh, uh, the people are using the drive, but sometimes I just I I, I personally like programming uh, the drive myself. So, uh, but some but, but for most people that is uh, something that is a big no no. So, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that will be it with preset speeds, with the emotive frequency. We we done the we done all the other bits and pieces. If you check out the last videos, if you haven't seen them. We done the the, the MLP control as well. So. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please smash that like. If you didn't, smash the dislike. Comment below what you like, what you don't like. And uh, let us know in the comments as well what, what you like about the video, what you don't. So, so uh, if you want to criticize and, uh, and anything like that, definitely do so. Because that it does, in many ways, uh, help me out on uh, making better videos for you. Because it is, by the end of the day, these videos are made for you. And definitely for me as well. Because within two weeks, I will forget all about it, what I just did. So... Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and in the next video, we'll be cracking out with the next challenge, with the next drive. Bye-bye.